hello welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me for another sunday night video you guys i am at a new gym <laughs> i'm really nervous okay because i've never stepped foot in this gym i just looked up online gyms to try out and i'm gonna take you along to three different gyms because my old gym the membership finishes this week and when i moved i said i need to move gyms and i've been putting it off if i'm honest because i'm really nervous and I think that is normal. And I think that is part of being in a new environment with new people, new equipment. And I know that I will settle in a new gym. I've changed gyms many times before, but I just didn't have the mental capacity to change another thing in my life. I had so much change going on. I could not contemplate changing the gym, but I feel ready. I feel ready. So I'm gonna step into the first gym. I'm gonna bring you along. I'm gonna do a workout as well. I'm a bit nervous for the workout too, cause it's upper body. I've done one day already this week, which you'll see in the vlog, which was lower body in my old gym. And I didn't know it then, but that's probably the last time I'll train at that gym. <laughs> anyway. We've got upper body on the cards today and I guess when it comes to me picking the gym, I'll be considering a few things. Firstly, the cost and membership options. Secondly, the quality of the facility in terms of equipment, classes, things like that. Hours and staffing, if I get a good vibe. Cleanliness, parking, and then just like overall, does the gym pass the vibe check? Cause I wanna make sure it's okay that I can vlog in there. And I will talk to the staff now about that. I got approval from my last gym to be able to film in there. I'm hoping that it will be okay as well with whatever gym I pick next. I'm very mindful. I try not to obviously show other people in filming quiet areas, but yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I just paid for a casual session, which was $20. The gym is not busy right now, but it is a lot smaller and compact compared to my last gym. So like you can kind of see the whole gym floor, which is fine. I'm just putting my stuff in the pigeonholes here and we're gonna go and start the workout. My God, why am I so nervous? She also gave me permission to film. She said everyone films in here. So that is a real positive thing. So I won't feel like I'm not gonna be like a fish out of water. Okay, you can do this. You can do this, fuck. I found the first machine, which is a cable row. My strength has definitely taken a hit on these because before my surgery, I was doing this at 27 and a half kilos. And today I can only do 19, which is fine. My strength will come back. I'm also not having any pain in my implants, which is great. I was a bit stressed about that. And to get over my anxiety, I'm just doing one exercise at a time. I'm breathing and telling myself it's fine. In the way I'm cheating on my last gym. <laughs> I'm like anticipating pain, which is a shit feeling. And part of me is like, have a look, see if your implants are moving around. I'm sure they're not. They're very secure in there. <laughs> I will say the panic of not knowing what to do is not an issue for me because I've got this program, so that makes me happy. Again, I'm doing 19 kilos here, so I've got two sets left, but I'd just like to pre-fill it out. Obviously all of the equipment is different. The weights are different, the benches are different, which is fine. I'm getting the hang of it. I just had the sweetest girl come up to me and say hello, because she follows me. She's like, I had to do a double take. <laughs> what are you doing in here? And I said, oh, I'm just doing a trial, like a, a casual session. And she's like, oh my God, please join. <laughs> she was so nice. My first gym friend on my first gym session. What the hell? Okay, so I'm not feeling pain here, but I'm definitely feeling tightness in my chest, which is okay, but this is meant to be like bicep curls, girl. Get it together. You know what? That hair clip. <laughs> oh, that's better. All done. If I'm honest, I'm a bit sad because I really miss my old gym and part of me is like, just keep going there. I'm not gonna make any decisions, I think, until I've done all my market research 
and assessing my options. Cause yeah, right now it's like bittersweet. That was okay. The staff were lovely. The people were lovely in there. The equipment selection is great. The layout is a bit in the open, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the workout tomorrow. Good morning, rise and shine. You guys, we're in a new gym. We're doing a lower body workout today. I'm very excited because lower body is my favorite and I had the best lower body workout on Monday, but I had the worst doms on Tuesday. Like I could barely walk and today, finally the pain is gone. I've already walked little Franklin. I'm ready to get into it. Very nervous, but I think this is a really good exposure therapy, especially because I had so much internalized panic about trying new gyms for so long. Like I was really putting it off, but I'm feeling way more confident after yesterday. So I'm excited to give this one a go. Let's go see. Oh! All right, I just got a tour and so far it's a cute vibe. I'm doing Bulgarian split squats and do you know how hard they are when you haven't done them for eight weeks? I'm slightly panicking because I can't find the last two machines in here and I've looked everywhere but I don't think they have it. I need to do back extensions so I need them and then I need like kickbacks as well which I could do on a cable but I'm gonna have to ask. <laughs> I'm an idiot you guys it was right in front of my face. <laughs> I'm done. Towards the end, my legs started like quivering and shaking because they were getting a little bit tired, but I really did like the vibe in there. I think it is kind of giving a cross between my old gym and like a fitness first. I used to train at fitness first when I first moved to Sydney and it's a very similar vibe because in there, they really sectioned out the gym. You have kind of like a CrossFit area. You have the weights area, which is where I was today, but then there's also classes. They've got a steam room in there. It was kind of giving like a club vibe. I will say it was $20 for the casual session, but that gives me three free sessions. And they said I could use it over seven days, which is obviously more value compared to the gym that I went to yesterday. I forgot to ask about the membership options. I might have to give them a call, but the staff are really friendly. They gave me a tour. I didn't film any of that because I had asked if it was okay if I could film and I wanted them to obviously let me know that I could before I filmed anything in there. And that's when I started actually recording, but it was fine. Like I did my workout. There was only one exercise I didn't do, which was the kickbacks. I couldn't find the machine and I also couldn't do it on the cables. I think I'll have to buy the attachment. It's like the one you put around your ankle. But aside from that, like I feel good. I feel more confident again every time I do this. So yesterday after I finished, I was like, wow, I can do anything. Today I'm feeling the exact same. So has this been as scary and daunting as I thought it would be? No, it was definitely worse in my head before I actually got here. But yeah, I'm thinking I need to do another gym tomorrow. And then, like I said, I'll stew on it over the weekend. Good morning. We are back with the final installment of dealing with nerves in the gym, maybe finding a new gym. I say maybe. Part of me is like, just keep going to your old gym because I do really love it. Part of me is like, fresh start, you know, moved house, new gym, kind of fresh chapter. 
I was kind of hoping for that. Anyway, we're doing the fourth session of the week. We're at a different gym. We're at gym number three today. Just so you guys know, gym number one emailed me the next day saying, how did you go? Did you enjoy it? Would you like to come back? And gym two called me this morning and he said, how did your training go? Like, did you enjoy your session? Are you going to come back for the other two sessions? So I really did like that follow up if I'm totally transparent with you. But yeah, let's go into this gym. It's a lower body day again and it's probably the easiest session of the week. So not too taxing. And I'm really happy with myself because it's my first week back. I've done four for four sessions. Well, I'm going to do four for four sessions. I've walked every day and already I'm feeling so much more myself and more confident on a gym floor because I had honestly zero, zero fucking confidence when I walked into the gym on Monday morning. Anyway, let's go. Okay, he is letting me train for free. I said, I'm happy to pay you casual. And he goes, no, 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 I want you to train for free. And we can chat about like, membership options later I said look in full transparency I'm actually training at other gyms as well and I don't want to make a decision yet I'm just going to suss the vibe but that was really nice I wasn't expecting that also I want to show you that no one actually bats an eyelid when you're in a new gym filming yourself oh my god they suck If you are really shy in the gym, I've just come and picked a quiet corner to do this exercise. And you can even look up shy girl workouts on TikTok where you only need like a dumbbell set and maybe a kettlebell. And you can kind of stay in one spot in the gym so you don't have to move around. That is another great tip if you are a little bit nervous and a little bit scared to get into the gym. The other two things I want to say is you could always do a PT or coaching session or come with a friend because I feel like that takes away a lot of that stress as well. This is a back exercise. I've got two back exercises in here today, which is good because I've smashed my legs, but not like overdone the weight. Like I've kept it pretty conservative. I did, really didn't want to push myself too hard in my first week back. You can see here the last time I did this, I was doing them at 20 kilos. That's okay. Today we're just doing 10. I've got one more exercise to do and then we can leave. I am home. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed too because I don't know what to do. They're the only gym that have a joining fee right now. Gym one and gym two had no joining fee. And gym three is also the only gym that has like a service fee on the membership, which I've never heard of before. But they do have flexibility in the sense that they offer like three, six, 12, 18 month options. The costs are neither here nor there, like they're roughly on par. And each gym obviously has their own setup and own system. I am really hesitant to do any locking contracts. Like at my last gym, I would either do three or six months upfront because I preferred that flexibility. I had some bad experiences in Sydney with some gyms that I trained at that just locked me in for ages and made it so hard to cancel. And ever since then, I'm like, I'm not doing that. I just wanna be in and know that I can get out whenever I want. And that's worked really well for me in the past. But yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I haven't made a decision and I don't know if I'm going to over the weekend. I think I'll just keep doing casual sessions. But I hope this video was a sign to you that you can walk into a brand new gym that you've never stepped foot in. No one is going to bat an eyelid. Nobody looked twice at me. I was filming. I was talking into the mic. I was moving around the gym. I was looking for equipment and it was fine. And I feel so much better at the end of this week opposed to the start. So I hope they gave you a little bit of inspo. Other frequently asked questions that I might get in the comments. All my active wear is Elite 11. My code is Adele 10. The app that I'm using is called Train With Soph. I've been using it since January and I love it. It is custom programming and really easy to use as you guys have seen in this video. And yeah. I'm happy with the endorphins. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Leave me a comment, make sure you like it and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll see you in the vlog tomorrow. Bye.